Welcome to the Developer Basics. We're having a small session with Carol. We called it Looping with Carol. Well, we're, Carol just finished watching the Loops, the first uh, Loops uh, video, and we wanted to make sure that everything is clear, and if there's any issue, we're going to try and figure out how to solve it together. So, Carol, it's all yours. Let, for now on, um, let's start with first, you know what, let me start asking. First of all, we, you just watched a whole hour of, of Loops, and really the first fundamental question is, what are Loops? Well, I think you, you said it right besides one piece, and maybe it's important to clarify that one, is that functions are very different than variables and objects. And the reason is, is because a function, or sorry, uh, uh, well, even it's different than functions, because w when we're talking about loops, loops are different than functions and variables and all this stuff that we've learned about so far, because loops don't store anything. You can't save a loop. A loop is just a command to tell the operating system, do this X amount of times. So like even if, if I just write here a really quick uh, loop, um, let me just go to actions. I'll just have, just add here a four bar. Uh, typing with one hand is a little bit hard. Uh, so you're, you know, let me just uh, uh, put the telephone down for a second. All right, okay, so four bar I equals zero. I is smaller than 10. I plus plus really the only piece of information only stored information that we have is this i value it's that integer that's our variable but the four is just a command it's a command that says do this ten times whatever's inside here it could be anything now it's important to know that you have your curly bra braces and that's why you're confusing it and it's only because when you have a function and it's good that you're pointing this out function um, me and we have our function and we open and we close a curly bracket and we've done that a few times already and, and all the times that we've done it so far almost all the times we've done it so far it was some sort of object but opening and closing brackets is not only always a definition of of a thing it's more of a definition of a zone of this is the area the workable area now with that said it's true and that might be a little bit confusing because you could also create a new object and just set it up set it up by opening and closing a curly bracket now, opening and closing a curly bracket is, definitely does create a new object when you're only putting it that and there's nothing before it and there's nothing after it. But on the other hand, when, whenever you're creating a function, well, a function is also a thing, right? It could be, it's something tangible because there's something that's inside of it. But in the case of a for loop, it's not something tangible. All we're saying is that everything inside of here is part of the loop. Just repeat this, go to line three, and then when you're done, go back to line one, go back to line one, go back and go back until you're done with the loop. And when you're done, then move on to line four. Now we've seen this again, we've seen this also in another place where if we had if statements, for example, if A is bigger than B, then we open the curly bracket and close the curly bracket. With that said, the if statement is not a thing either. The if statement is just a command, an operation that says, if this is true, then we're gonna do that those commands that are inside. So if statements and for loops are quite similar in that that their zoning, their area is not really, it's not really an object. It's not really something that you could store later and use it for other, cases. If you wanted to use it, if again, what would you have to do, Carol? Is, is make the variable equal to make a variable and then make it equal to something. Well, but you can't, well, let me ask you, okay, let me rephrase the question. Oh, let, me, let me rephrase the question. So I'm going to rephrase the question and say, could I say this? Equals. Is, is that, is that um, valid? Um, no, because, because you're not, you didn't declare what, um, what that, that A is. Well, also because the, I can declare, one is, this is not really valid, because you can't take an if statement and put it into an if, you can't put it into a variable, because it's not a thing, it's more of a command, it's more like saying, um, I'm trying to trying to find a, 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 an, a an example in the real world. Uh, an example in the real world would be like you have someone standing in the door, and um, he tells you you could come in, you could you can't come in, right? You can't really take that scenario, wrap it up in a in a something, 
and then reuse it in other places, right? That doesn't even make sense. On the other hand, if you say, like, here I have an apple, I can take that apple, put it in my pocket, and use that apple in another another place. A if statement really isn't something tangible. It's something. It's a more of a theoretical. If something happens, then do this. If something else happens, then do that. So I can't take an if statement and just put it directly into a variable because it's not a something. It's not something tangible. Okay. And the same is true for a for statement. A for statement is not, it's not something tangible. It's not a thing. It's just a command that says, for this, as long as this is true, as long as this is happening, then just repeat this action over and over. Now, with that said, if I... It kind of directs, it directs the, the code. It, it kind of um, tells the code to go a certain path. Exactly. Is it's that, like a... Ex yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like an, a com an officer, a, a, a commander, or something that's telling the, the program, like you said, to do something. Now, if I needed this okay. if statement, and I needed to use it a few times, then I would have to, or I could put it inside of a loop. Huh, I, I live next to a fire department, so like every for 30 minutes this happens. Um, so uh, I could put it or in a for loop if I wanted this if to happen 10 times, right? Or if I wanted to, I could have taken that, for, that if statement and just put it in a function, right? And then I could call it whenever I need it. So really, okay. this is, a, a function is a thing. A function is, is much is very much like a bucket. So I could put things into that bucket. If I want, I could put commands into the bucket. Okay, that makes sense? Yes, it does. Uh-huh. 